all right welcome back to grass grind tv so this is going to be a video just showing how we take care of overgrown properties what to look for how to manage it and make it look good once you're finished so let's say you get a call from a customer and you get there everything is overgrown just totally out of control this is going to be a video to show how we handle those type of situations so the first thing that we do once we get to the property is make sure we walk the property now it may sound silly to walk the property but the reason that we walk the property is to make sure we can see um, everything we may come across while we're mowing while we're trimming you'll be surprised what type of items that you'll see in the lawn uh, we've seen stumps that's hidden um, different tools hand tools um, metal metal pipes uh, glass just you know any type of debris that you'll come around and that'll help you once you start really working on the lawn that'll help you determine which way to cut which way to trim any hazards that'll definitely help you out uh, once you get started so let's say that you walk the full property you know what to look for now it's time to come up with the game plan so today we have a two-man crew there's Pablo on the Toro Z Master he's getting it knocked out 61 inch I mean that's been a great mower for us a great addition but when I say game plan when you have a crew with you you want to make sure everyone knows where to go so we'll have a conversation before we even get out the truck okay I'm gonna tackle this area you tackle this area because in order to be profitable on these large overgrown lawns you need to make sure you have that game plan in place um, you don't want to have too many people in the same area you want to make sure that the game plan that you have make sure you get everything cut down efficiently quickly that way you can get to the next property so let's talk about the importance of trimming around the perimeter of everything on the property right now I'm trimming around a flower bed um, this is important because a lot of times you'll see items stuck close to either the flower bed the house garage shed um, it just seems to attract debris so this is very important to trim out everything that's close that way once the mower comes around you don't have to worry about it hitting anything damaging your uh, mower blade or any equipment that you're using at that time now while you're trimming you want to make sure that you're kicking everything into the lawn this makes it easier to clean up if you're kicking grass in the street or against the house that just takes more time to clean up so definitely want to go in the direction where everything is coming back in the lawn that way once you're mowing you can mulch everything up looks a lot better a lot cleaner and it makes it quicker on the cleanup another tip when you're trimming out these overgrown properties you want to make sure that you have extra trimmer string I can't tell you how many times I've been trimming and run out of string have to walk all the way back to the truck and usually when you run out of string it's not going to be close to the truck so just cut some trimmer string roll it up put it in your pocket that way you can keep working and make sure that you can keep trimming because time is very important on these properties in order to make money 
on these properties you want to get everything done as quick as possible as efficiently as possible now let me know in the comments section uh, maybe a couple of things that I missed um, if you have any tips that helps you cut these overgrown properties a lot faster put them in the comment section this is going to be a video to help everyone out that way once they get to the overgrown property can get it cut efficiently quickly and move on to the next property I actually like cutting overgrown lawns for me it's the challenge of getting to a property that's not looking so good you got grass everywhere weeds everywhere and once we get there um, it's a transformation of the property so definitely a challenge but uh, I always like the before and after so I'm just finishing up the trimming about to head on the mower that's a Skag V-Ride 2 61 inch um, great mower uh, I can't say enough good things about it uh, now we're getting into the overgrown area so when we get to the overgrown area uh, we generally lift the deck all the way up and the reason that we lift the deck all the way up uh, once again you want to make sure that you're not cutting anything um, that's hidden in the grass yes you did your walkthrough and looked at everything but you can't see everything that's in the lawn so we'll go through um, do a right now we're doing a cross cut uh, Pablo's on the Toro Z Master 61 inch uh, of course I'm on the Skag and we'll go through and cross cut it now your first cut is not going to look great at all um, this is just chopping it down to make it manageable that way we can go down in increments uh, to get to the desired height so I think the skag the highest it can um, the deck can go is about four and three quarters so the Toro can go about five inches maybe five and a half I think but we'll go through cut everything down and the key is to go down in increments I remember our first season we had a overgrown lawn and I thought it would be a bright idea to just start off at three inches get everything cut down it should look great once we're finished and that was a long day and non-profitable day so you want to go over everything and then take it down in increments this grass was pretty tall luckily we didn't see anything crazy in the lawn any stumps or any debris um, actually pretty clean lawn so definitely happy about that getting everything cut down you're gonna have a haze of grass on the lawn <laughs> the skag is still striping it up even though it's heavy grass but that's what the skag do um, the skag definitely takes care of those overgrown properties makes it look great I uh, got a little area I'm gonna cut there and then I'm gonna let Pablo take care of that side now I'm going to the side that he's already cut down um, now I think I'm about four inches three and three quarter and this will start to stripe if I believe yeah now even though that you're at your desired height um, the lawn is still not finished a lot of times um, I'll do it maybe two different ways so if you really want the stripes to pop uh, if I'm at three and three quarter uh, I'll take it down one more notch so I'll go down to three and a half a lot of times that'll clean it up or um, you can get to your desired height and lift the deck fully up and that helps the grass uh, disperse a lot better makes it look cleaner just a nice cut so I'm gonna go over this a couple of times make sure everything's looking good as you see the homeowner tried to cut um, but they were just cutting way too low 
Um, when you're cutting low like that, the deck needs that air space in order to disperse the grass. And this is where commercial mowers come into play. Um, the biggest difference between the residential mowers and the commercial mowers is that uh, the residential mowers have smaller engines. Um, you know, they may still have the same deck space, but when you have a commercial mower, that's what it's built for. It's built for these big properties. It's built to handle a lot more grass, has a lot better tip speed, um, engine horsepower. It's just built solid in order to get these type of properties done. Um, when we got the Skag, um, it was definitely a game changer. It helped us tackle these type of properties and it's more about the speed, at how fast you can get these properties done. Um, that makes all the difference in the world when you're tackling these type of properties. When you can get done quicker, that's more money for you to go to the next property. Um, the commercial mowers makes the properties look a lot better and it's, I mean, it's been a game changer if you're going to try to take on these lawns. Alright, so I want to hear from you guys. If you guys have any tips, any pointers, uh, put that in the comment section because it, it's probably some things that I missed on this video. Um, and everybody can learn together. So put some of your tips and tricks of the trade in. Uh, let everybody know how to handle these overgrown properties. And uh, hopefully this helps everybody. So this is Mr. Grass Grind on the Grass Grind. Always invest in yourself and keep grinding every day. Yeah. We saved the customer from getting a city violation because it was super tall. So we're just finishing up. Uh, hopefully I got all the footage uh, trimmed up all through there, through here. <laughs> i make sure I ain't got nothing on me. Down through here. I mean, this was a, this was a job, but the Toro and the Skag got it done. Never know what you see on Grass Grind TV. Subscribe. Yeah.